The X-44 Manta was an incredible design that Russia and China would have struggled to match. Why wasn't it constructed? The X-44 Manta was never more than a concept, but its brief existence influenced later stealth designs that could be used by the United States NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominant Sixth Generation Fighter. Welcome back, and in this video we'll discuss the X-44 Manta and why it's so feared. So let's get this video started. In 1999, Lockheed Martin announced the X-44 Manta, a delta-shaped stealth fighter that would eliminate the requirement for a conventional tail portion. Rather than adopting a traditional tail section with both vertical and horizontal control surfaces, the Manta planned to use thrust vector control, which involves regulating the flow of the engine's thrust to give the aircraft the acrobatic capabilities it would require in a high-end battle. That same concept appears to be consistent across nearly all official renderings of the Air Force's next air superiority fighter being developed under the NGAD, begging the question, could elements of the X-44 Manta have made their way into America's next top-of-the-line fighter? Last year, the U.S. Air Force shocked the world by revealing that a prototype aircraft from its next-generation air dominance program had already been conceived, manufactured, and tested. This new jet is said to be more advanced than any fighter before it, built to not only compete with, but also dominate the superior fifth-generation fighters being developed by America's adversaries, Russia and China. Around the same time, the Air Force released a birthday celebrating image that appeared to portray a wedge-shaped aircraft with no conventional tail portion, prompting some to speculate whether the artist's work had anything to do with the NGAD announcement that followed. Other official Air Force pictures, as well as renderings from notable aviation businesses like Lockheed Martin, have all showed similar wedge-shaped aircraft since then. Some have pointed to Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow II as the stealthy model for this tailless design. But Northrop isn't the only company that knows how to produce a stealth fighter without a tail. In truth, the X-44 Manta may represent an early version of what has or will become, at least, part of America's next prize fighter in the sky, based on some of these artists' representations and the practical restrictions of constructing a new fighter on a short fuse. The Multi-Axis No-Tail Aircraft, or X-44 Manta The name, or more accurately, the abbreviation of the X-44 gets right to the point of the notion. Some features, such as a conventional tail section with vertical and horizontal control surfaces, had become standard fare for a capable tactical aircraft after decades of rapid fighter development. While the F-22 and later the F-35 had slightly different tails than a non-stealth fourth-generation fighter like the F-16, the X-44 Manta intended to achieve the same maneuverability without all those tail surfaces. The aircraft's radar return would be drastically decreased without the tailpiece, making it even stealthier than America's extremely capable F-22. So, logically, Lockheed Martin teamed up with NASA to discuss how to make this vision a reality. Making an acrobatic aircraft that could avoid using its tail for handling would necessitate a heavy reliance on thrust vector controls to adjust the jet's flight path direction. The F-15 Active, a modified F-15 Eagle that used front-wing canards, taken from the tail section of an F-A-18 Hornet, and thrust vectoring jet nozzles to produce a fighter that could outperform the legendary Eagle in almost every appreciable way, had already had a lot of success with thrust vector controls on a high-performance fighter. In its most basic form, thrust vector control allows the jet engine's nozzle to be pointed or aimed. The nozzle aiming on some platforms, such as the F-22 Raptor, is done on a single plane, up or down. However, the nozzle on others, such as Russia's fourth-generation Su-35, can move in 360 degrees, providing even more dramatic possibilities when it comes to fast-changing directions. In a head-on collision, the F-22 Raptor's thrust vectoring allows the pilot to point the fighter's nose and armaments down at an opposing jet as it passes by, while still pushing in the same direction. That same thrust vectoring capability allows planes like the F-22 and Su-35 to change directions significantly more aggressively than any sophisticated jet without thrust vector controls in a close-up brawl between two fighters striving to successfully turn tighter than the other to gain weapons lock. While the F-22 uses thrust vector control in addition to a more conventional tail section, Lockheed Martin recommended using the F-22 as a starting point for a new technology demonstrator that may be just as capable as the fighter aircraft we've come to know as conventional in recent decades. For its stretch delta design, the X-44 would have had enviable specs. The X-44 served as a testbed for how a plane without tailplanes would function. 
This meant the plane had an extended delta wing main plane with side-by-side -side turbofan engines, Pratt & Whitney's with 35,000 pounds of thrust, according to Military Factory. With a 49,000-foot ceiling, the plane was expected to reach speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour. With enhanced stealth capabilities and internal weapons bays, the design would result in lesser drag and increased efficiency. With a diverse load of sidewinders, AMRAMs, advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and a 20mm internal cannon, the potential for a full payload of weaponry was tremendous. The X-44 may have carried more fuel in its overall structure, extending its range. An F-22 Raptor without the tail Starting from scratch on an aircraft design didn't seem viable because the notion wasn't being pursued as a clean sheet fighter development program, but rather as a technology demonstrator effort. Lockheed Martin, on the other hand, volunteered the F-22 Raptor. The F-22 was, and still is, America's best and most capable fighter when it comes to attacking enemy jets. It also has thrust vector control, which makes it a natural candidate for an experiment that is so focused on that feature. At the time, the X-44 Manta wasn't the only F-22-based idea floating about the Pentagon. The F-22 is the world's first operational stealth fighter, the first fighter to christen the new fifth generation of jets, and arguably the most powerful air superiority aircraft ever to fly in service for any nation. So it's understandable that the U.S. would consider using it for other, more specialized roles. The Sea Raptor initiative would have placed F-22s on board America's fleet of supercarriers, giving a jet that could fly faster, further, and carry more ordnance than the F-35Cs now planned for Uncle Sam's flat tops. The F-22 Raptor has already distinguished itself from the competition thanks to its designer's incorporation of stealth into the fighter's design. Unlike prior and extremely powerful air superiority fighters like the F-15, which depended on raw performance to win scraps in the air and only later integrated things like radar absorbent coating to hinder detection, the F-22 was designed from the ground up to delay or deny detection totally. From there, the stealthy fighter's two powerful Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines could still propel it to Mach 2.25, and its thrust vector controls allowed it to pirouette away from any oncoming missiles that had managed to secure a difficult-to-come-by lock. The F-22 remains the world's most capable air superiority fighter today, and its edge over the competition was considerably greater in 1999. Could the X-44 Manta be involved in the NGAD program? As with other NGAD questions at this stage, there's no way to know for sure whether the X-44 has been discussed in the lead-up to the F-22's replacement being deployed. If the X-44 had been more stealthy than the F-22, it's understandable that it would have sparked the NGAD program. The NGAD will most likely have the X-44's wedge-shaped tailless form. A no-tail aircraft, which the NGAD is expected to adopt, has a smaller radar signal. According to reports, the Air Force has created a prototype of the NGAD and flown it. The Navy is developing its own NGAD program, the FAXX, a sixth-generation fighter to replace the FA-18EF Super Hornet. The most recent Pentagon budget request includes funding for this initiative. As a result, NGAD is most likely to develop from the X-44. The X-44 was designed more than two decades ago, and it remains to be seen whether the Air Force and Navy versions of the NGAD will both mirror the X-44. As a result, this is a back-to-the-future example of sixth-generation airplane design. Will the Air Force's next-generation fighter be inspired by wedge-shaped aircraft like Lockheed Martin's proposed X-44 Manta and Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow 2? Tell us what you think about it in the comments area below. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. We'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.